Hello, this is Gracie, report live from the Blarney Castle outside the city of Cork. I'm currently standing in front of the famed Blarney Stone. Tourists flock to kiss the stone in the hopes that they will be blessed with the ability of wit and flattery. Others, other folks say, ha, when pigs fly. Hold on, what's that sound? You've got to be kidding me. Mixed in here with another segment of Ireland's Natural Wonders. Today I'm reporting live from the cliffs of Mohair. These cliffs are 40 kilometers of rural beauty and are especially enjoyable on a beautiful day like today with not a gust of wind or cloud in, in the sky. Wait, what's that up there? <laughs> coming in. No way! It's a horde of flying pigs! <laughs> oh, um, this is Eli. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm currently standing at the base of Croft Patrick, the tallest man I am. But St. Patrick's Day is to expel all the snakes from my beloved country. I'm sorry. Did you say that? I'm all going bad here with those flying pigs. Hey, Britain, this is Tuck reporting live from the Parliament, where we await in a very important vote. This year, bitches of right has flared among the citizens and officials alike as to what is the quintessential tea of England. I have been told that the Parliament is slated to announce a unanimous decision on this hot question issue as soon as possible. <laughs> This is Wheezy reporting from Buckingham Palace, where the Queen will be giving the live address in just five minutes. She is set to weigh on she is set to weigh in on the controversial issue of Earl Grey versus English breakfast, a subject on which she has a kept long kept mum. Some speculate her reticence may be due to her fear of backlash at a time when public opinion is already wavering in a disastrous wake of negative. <laughs> Golly, is that, is that a herd of flying pigs? Caitlin, yeah, the mythic Stonehenge. There is, there is much speculation, wait, there's much speculation about this famous formation. Some scientists believe that it was a non- Neolithic grave, grave, graveyard. Others believe a hot spot of brood activity. There are some that there are, these are just some some of the theories that we'll be exploring today in the first installment of our live seg segment, Stonehenge, the Tales of a Legend. Hold, hold on. I'm getting transmission from breaking news in London. That's impossible. Pigs can't fly. This is Rosalind reporting live from the Old Globe Theatre where, where we have been forced to interrupt our planned coverage of William Shakespeare's 455th birthday to bring you a breaking news bulletin. It appears there's a herd of flying pigs making their way across Britain as we speak. It's not known where they're headed to or what their purpose is. Stay tuned for, for further developments in what now is being officially referred to as Pig Gate. For joining you and welcome to another segment of Sites to See with JP. No viewers will recognize today's site. Yes, we are finally here at the epic Colosseum home. Too much Beverly and blood bloodshed. I and this mighty structure, famous gladiator, fought epic battles against against skilled warriors and savage animals such as lions and tigers and bears and pigs this is me reporting live from the leaning tower of pisa 